Hello, and welcome to the wonderful world of Zoom. This is a video tutorial for the Zoom application. Today we are going to talk about navigating through Canvas, useful settings, and hosting your own meetings. Let's start by learning how to navigate Zoom through Canvas. This is one of the more useful applications considering that all of our classes are now online. First, you're going to start by logging onto Ernie and choosing the class that you'd like to attend, although you should be attending all of them, even though they're online and really easy to nap through. Once you're on your course's Canvas page, you should be able to see the Zoom tab on the left. On this page, you should be able to see three tabs, upcoming meetings, previous meetings, and cloud recordings. This is where you will be able to find invites to Zoom meetings and where your professors can upload their recorded lectures online. Once you click the Join button next to today's lecture, your browser will prompt you to download and install the application. Once you do that, you can open Zoom and you're ready to go to class. Now let's talk about useful settings. When you open the Zoom application, you should see a few different options. If you click on the gear on the top right corner, you can get to general settings. You can see on the left the different icons indicating different types of settings. In video settings, you can do a lot of different things, including disabling video upon entering a meeting. Under audio, you will find a similar setting to meet the microphone. You can also automatically join computer audio when entering a meeting. You will also find different screen share settings and a variety of chat room settings. Now my favorite part of this is the virtual background. This will turn the background behind you into a beautiful scene of your choosing. This option is super helpful if your room is just a little messier than you want it to be, or if you want to add some spice to your online lecture. If you are hosting a meeting and wish to record it, this recording tab is where you'll find some useful settings. You can also find your Zoom profile where you can connect your account to different emails, and you can change your profile picture too. The next three sections are statistics, keyboard shortcuts, and accessibility. Now, let's talk about hosting a meeting. If you want to host a Zoom meeting, simply open the Zoom application and click on the orange icon that says New Meeting. From here, you'll either be able to copy the link or send it out via email. Once you have everybody gathered in your virtual meeting room, you can record the lecture, share your screen, use the whiteboard tool, or just admire the beautiful faces of your classmates who you haven't seen since before the quarantine. So you're probably wondering, what are the benefits of Zoom? Well, it's pretty user-friendly, it has a lot of useful settings, and it's multifunctional. There are a lot of great educational benefits, like holding and recording classes online, or just hosting a study session with your classmates. It can also be used to make social distancing easier. You can talk with loved ones, host a club meeting, or just invite your colleagues to a virtual happy hour. The world is pretty chaotic right now, but it's really important that we all do our part to flatten the curve. So why not give Zoom a shot? 